Well, hello there, everyone. It is Tuesday, December the 14th, year 2021. Let's see. I made an offer on a house last night, um, talked to my financer this morning, and got my pre-approval letter. And I'll tell you all about it in a future video. And I was also told I got a verbal acceptance on the house. So anyway, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Please like the videos and please comment and please feel free to share because I've been stuck. It's almost been a full month now without getting an additional subscriber. But anyway, I'm going to talk on a topic about something pertaining to all financial stuff, but something else real quick. I was looking at analytics on my channel and it's kind of funny in a way. Uh, you can... YouTube has like an app you get that, you know, you look at analytics. So I was looking at various things. And if I look at my top five videos of all time, top five videos of all time for views, I guess it is. The four out of the top five, four out of the top five are not pertaining to a financial topic, which is interesting. And even the fifth one that's in there, it's really not pertaining to a financial topic either. So it's kind of like my top five. I wasn't talking on stocks, real estate, crypto, mineral rights, oil. It's me talking on fluff. So it leads me to two potential conclusions. There's probably three or four potential conclusions. One would be when I talk on financial topics, I'm boring. I'm not entertaining. It's kind of blige. No one really cares. It's like, oh, man, you're talking about the same old, same old. Number two, when I talk about fluff, people might see animals. They might see pretty stuff. They like it. So that could be, come to one conclusion then, would be Maskey's intelligent about financial stuff and society's not. <laughs> Society is ignorant because they like fluff better than like educational stuff. That could be one conclusion. What's another conclusion? Uh, let me think, another conclusion. I don't know if there is another conclusion. <laughs> I think that's what it comes down to. And I'm not making fun of society, but this just leads me to believe in a small sample and it's, it's a very small sample for my channel. But for the folks who watch it, you guys who like my videos in the 20 to 25 or so who regularly watch my videos, you are in a very small minority, I dare say. It's a very small minority of the population who cares about having a better future and putting forth the work and the effort to do so. And I look around even my own neighborhood where I live at now, there's a lot of fluff here. I think there's a lot of money. I think people work some high paying jobs, perhaps. Uh, there's a lot of money here. I don't think folks are that serious about investing though, about improving their lifestyle. My goal is to keep improving my lifestyle to a certain extent. Once it gets well enough, I will probably pull back just a bit on trying to increase it even more. So anyway, I digress, don't I? Talk a little bit about consistency. If one thing you should have gotten from my channel is that Maskey started when he was approximately 21, 22 years old, investing in mutual funds. And he stuck with it. For the past 30 some years, he has stuck with it in some fashion. He didn't always have a lot of extra money. Sometimes he had five, 10, 15, $20 extra a paycheck to put in, but he stuck with it. He was consistent, okay? That's led me to today, because I dare say the majority of my peers both from the career I retired from police work. Um, I, I'll give you an example. My, who was my first police chief? My very first police chief, he went, when he retired after like 30, 35 years as a cop, he went to become a police chief in a different city because that city had its own retirement system so he could get another pension, get another high salary. Why? He didn't invest. He was probably, he might still be working, I'm not sure. And he's, probably pushing 70 by now. And he might, I don't know if he's retired yet. All right, my second police chief, he had been a police officer, had a long career in one city, came to my department, became the police chief, and he was there five, six, seven, eight years. I don't remember how many years he was there. 
Him and I talked investing a little bit one time. He didn't invest. He's now working as a college professor. Okay, to my knowledge, he's not uh, fully retired yet. He's older than I am, so if I'm at my age, he's mid 60s, pushing 70, perhaps. Okay. Yes, some people love their job. Yes, some people work it because they love their job. The majority of folks, I dare say, are working because they have to work. Thinking back to more peers, even the uh, captain who was, when I first was hired, had been there a long time. When he retired, he was like number two in command. So when he retired, he went to another department, started at the very bottom and started working his way up there. Why? Because he needed money. I look around all the other officers who left. Some work for a car dealership as a salesperson. They get a job, they get to a different department. They work as a dispatcher. They, they just do something else. Uh, from what I know about my peers in the Navy, the ones that I know about, I don't know, you know, the few that I stay in touch with, a lot of them when they retired, if they stay in the Navy and retired, got another job. They're working a government job. A lot of military do that. They get out and they work a government job to get another pension. Why? Because they need money. When I look around even my neighborhood here, um, a lot of folks here who are older than me are working somewhere. They're working some kind of job. And yet, <laughs> I, I just don't get it. I don't understand why. And I've had people tell me, Maskey, do not talk to us about investing. I'm hot. <laughs> it's, I think it's warming up today a little bit. Again, well, I need to put the fan on higher, but I don't want to stand up. I, I like this shirt. I will stand up. And while I stand up, I'll reach for the, uh, the fan. I like this shirt, though. Can you see it? All right, let me do something real quick here. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, you got to see my shirt. I put the fan on high, so you probably see my hair start blowing just a bit. I'm a little warm here. But that's another $3 shirt from a thrift store. <laughs> All right. I'm getting quite the collection. Paper's going to... I'm going to pull that string one more time. Sorry. I gotta kind of stand on my toes to reach that. So anyway, I digress. But I just don't understand why society, I don't know what it is. They just don't want to invest. The excuses I hear, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time. Time and money, time and money. That's what I've heard over and over for a long time. And I don't understand it. Maybe some of the greater minds out there, you're the 20, 25 of you that continually watch my videos Maybe you're probably smarter than I am. Why do the majority of folks in society not care about investing? Do you know that answer? <laughs> I don't know that answer. It's just how it is, I think. I, and I understand. I'm not saying that because of my channel not having a lot of subscribers or a lot of views. It's not that, even though that's part of it. It's not that. I have talked, but I have talked to a lot of people about my channel and they're just not interested in watching, but yet, like, you know, I was at the pool store today. Some of the employees just look so bored. And they're there every single time I go, and they look bored. And it's like, they don't seem like they're doing a productive type job, some of them. But it's just the same old, same old, you know, just getting a paycheck, same old, same old. And it's like, I don't understand. Why don't people want to invest? Is it because it wasn't taught in the schools? You know? It doesn't need to be, it's not that complicated. You can self-education, you can teach it to yourself. But it's that consistency. How many folks are consistent about watching the Sunday football games? How many folks are consistent about watching any, their chosen sport on a regular basis? How many people are consistent about going out fishing or going out doing whatever, whatever their hobby is? How many folks are consistent about that? A fair number, not everybody, but a fair number. But how many folks are consistent about plugging away every paycheck, putting $25, $50, $100, $500 into an investment? It doesn't matter too much if they're investing in stocks. It doesn't matter if they're investing in real estate. It doesn't matter, matter if they're investing in crypto. It doesn't matter if they're investing in something else. If they're consistent about it, they will learn more. They'll learn from their mistakes. And if they stick with it, they will become successful, all right? You'll hear, I watch, I watch a variety of YouTube channels, but I find myself watching a lot of them less and less and less. Why is that? They're, more, they're entertaining more so than I am. 
but it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over. It's the same thing. It's most of our real estate, but they keep talking about the same thing over and over and over. And it gets, it gets a little old after a while. Um, maybe because I am a successful investor, so I know it all already, but it's good to get refreshers, but it just, it's the same thing over and over. All right, so diversity is good. So, but consistency with investing, though, a lot of those channels, almost all the channels that are real estate channels, they talk down on other styles of investing. A lot of them do, not all of them talk down on. And I, yes, I will readily admit, real estate is a greater way to build wealth than any other way to get going. I'll admit that. But those who are consistent with investing in stocks, they will get a good portfolio. They can grow their wealth. It may be a smaller portfolio, but if someone retires when they're 60 with a million dollars in stocks, they're doing a way better than their peer who is retiring at 65 with, on Social Security. You know, so there's nothing wrong with that. Not everybody is cut out to buy real estate. Like even I was telling the missus yesterday, I think it was, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I just had a verbal offer on my on another rental house. I spent hours yesterday trying to find a lender. Um, I spent hours doing other things. And it's like, if I buy stocks, it doesn't take me that long. If I buy oil or mineral rights, it's like click, 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 and sign some forms and I'm done. There's no work involved. Real estate, it's a process. There's a lot to it. Same with crypto. It's a process. You can't just go stake some ohms or buy a strong node or uh, stake some time. You can't just like click, click, click and you're done. It's, it's a process. You got to learn it. You got to do it. It's work. Okay. Being a real estate investor is work. And that's probably part of the reason why a lot of folks don't get into it because it's work. All right. Stock investing to me is easy. You just got to read a few write-ups and find companies that you believe in. You like what they're doing. They have good, strong earnings. Their earnings are growing quarter to quarter and you can be successful. It's not, it's not hard. It's not complicated. Um, real estate, it's not that, it's not hard, but it is work. So as my wealth grows, I won't say that I will stop buying real estate, but as it grows more and more, will I keep doing that? Will I keep working? <laughs> you know, that's, that's the unknown. I like to enjoy life. I got my Florida shirt on. I got a swimming pool. I'm, I put some uh, muriatic acid in earlier and I think it's been long enough. You know, you gotta wait a certain period of time until you can swim in. I think it's been long enough. I got a canal down there. That I got a kayak. You know, I got a neighborhood I walk in almost every single night. You know, I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours trying to find a lender or hours and hours and hours trying to do such and such. Even now with this house, um, I got a verbal acceptance and I got to get a written acceptance for it to be official. Uh, the realtor told me he has to send me some dis disclosures that I need to sign. So they haven't come in yet. So I got to sign those. Once I get an acceptance of written acceptance, then I got to go back to the lender's website. It's a pretty easy process, but I got to fill it out on their website, certain things, upload the, um, the, the purchase agreement and do some other things. I'm getting a, I'm using a non QM lender. They're out in California and I'll do it all online. And one, basically once I complete a few steps online, I pay the appraisal fee. It's $560. There's nothing else to do. I just wait till the appraisal's done and then we'll have closing and I'll buy it remotely. I'm in South Florida. This is up in the great north middle of the country, up north of, around Chicago. So, so yes, there was a little bit of work yesterday, but in the big scheme of things, it's not work. This kind of mortgage is one of the easiest kinds of mortgages to get. So now that I have found this lender, I'll back up on what I was saying just a bit ago. Now that I found this lender, if I find more real estate to buy, I'll, I'll just stick with them. If, if it's smooth going, I'll stick with them because it's it's kind of easy. The whole application process is kind of easy. So they don't want to know my life history. They don't want to see my taxes. They don't want to see W-2 income, et cetera, et cetera. They want to look at the asset I'm buying, make sure I got proper rent and good cash flow and bingo boomba, they'll give me the mortgage. So it makes it easy. So, all right, good enough. This one, I'm getting long on my videos again. I'm gonna try to cut them back because most folks don't watch the long ones to the end. So, but anyway, let me know what you think. 
what's wrong with society or is, or is something wrong with me and the few of you that watch this channel? Are we the weird ones that we like investing? <laughs> Maybe we are. <laughs> what do you think? Ask yourself that question along with Maskey. If you're following Maskey and you like this financial stuff, are we all the weird ones? Because the rest of society isn't doing it. All right, y'all take care, stay safe, keep loving life. And if you're one of my followers, come on down and visit me. I'd like to see you sometime. All right, Maskey is signing out.